and I was like crying myself to sleep most nights, going through quite an intense relationship at a young age, like the one I was in. What skincare do you use? So I completely stripped back and went to my old skincare routine because I found nothing else worked. I use two products now for my skin. Someone said, have you ever had any anxiety? And if you have, what helped you? Like, no offense if you're like that, because some of my best friends are and I think, go you. How have you been like, honestly? Best shop for jewelry. I love LL Loves. She's on Instagram. I'll leave her name on the screen and you can get yourself some bracelets. She does all my bracelets for me and I absolutely love them. I think they're so pretty. But I'm not GP, I don't know. If you're still hung up on your ex, you can't be in a relationship. It doesn't work like that in my opinion. It's getting closer to midnight. I try to get closer to you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I'd do something where I'm kind of like your older sister for today and I'm gonna basically be giving you guys my best advice. Trust me, if I could take this advice for myself, I would. But your girl has had a lot of crap happen to her over the years and as much as my friends tell me things, I always end up doing the complete polar opposite. But if you can take a little, even just a little bit of advice from what I'm about to tell you, then definitely, definitely give this give this a watch because I will try my best to help you. And I basically asked you guys to give questions over and yeah, that's what you've done. So I am going to answer the questions. So starting off, someone said, when did you get into makeup? I was definitely a very late one for makeup considering like a lot of girls in my school was obsessed with it. Like so many girls when I was younger, I just remember them all being like, oh, like, oh, you want to do this? You want to do that with makeup? And I was never really interested in makeup. It didn't really phase me. Like, I'd, I'll be like once in a while, I'll be like, oh my God, I want to do makeup. But I wouldn't wear it to school, year eight, year nine. I think probably, I would say I, I kind of properly got into makeup probably end of last year. I'd say like, maybe end of year 10 is when I started actually liking makeup. But before then, I'd never wear makeup to school. I'd never wear it out. If I was going out, I wouldn't think, oh, I'm going to put concealer on. And I don't even just do makeup because I can't go out without it. I wear it because I absolutely love just having makeup on. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it. I hate it. Don't get me wrong. If I'm out and I've got makeup on and I've had it on all day, I can't stand it. But I love, like, glamming myself up. I think it's so fun. So I definitely say I love doing makeup now a lot more than I did before. But yeah, I got into it when I was about year 10. Someone said, um, how do I deal with bullying from girls, boys and teachers? Mm. If your teacher's bullying you, then I think that's a suggestion you should be leaving your school. If your teachers are bullying you, then clearly something's not right. If I was getting bullied again now, I would say the only difference I'd make is I'd stop retaliating as much because I used to retaliate so much and get myself so angry and like beefing people 24 seven over things when like if I just left it, maybe would have like, I would have been left alone quicker but because people knew they could get like something out of me, they'd keep going until I started crying or until I started arguing back or whatever. So I definitely say tell your family, that's the main thing. If you can tell your family, your friends or even just a teacher, if you can tell someone about it, it's better to get it out than in and then from there they can help you with what they would give you advice on because it's different for everyone. I can't sit here and give you advice on bullying that I had because people experience much worse and people experience much minor and yeah, you need to make sure that you fully understand like if this is getting you down or even a week it's considered bullying in my opinion if if you're upset that much where people are picking on you then i don't know you need to obviously do what you need to do but i definitely recommend talking to someone so that was well annoying my phone no my thing just had no like storage on there so i had to delete some videos but someone said what skincare do you use so i completely stripped back and went to my old skincare routine because i found nothing else worked i use two products now for my skin and that is i use well also i use three but i'll explain first of all i use the cerave foaming cleanser it's this but in green basically i like to use that to wash my face and i rinse it with cold cold water and then the doctor prescribed me this because my skin got really bad at one point and this is called epiduo cream this is what it looks like and i put this on at night and that's it and then in the mornings i like to properly overly moisturize and my top favorite moisturizers change daily but i can use all of these and i always find no problems i like this which is the glow recipe plump plump one 
it is unreal and it just works so nicely on my skin i also like the essential glow i use this daily because it's got spf in it and it always makes your skin feel and look so glowy and then when i've had a day where my skin's broken out or it's really red i like to go in with the rescue and repair intensive moisturizer this is from paula's choice it looks like this and then if i'm just going day to day it's normally the cerave one but again i like to switch it up because all of them work perfectly fine for me someone said how can you stop overthinking i think overthinking is something that no one can give you advice on it happens more and more i think with me i never was an overthinker in my life but the older i've got the more i've realized like i'll meet someone at an event and just think do they actually like me they're just using me for videos like i think you've got to be a lot more cautious now and definitely like going through quite an intense relationship at a young age like the one I was in, I just think it's made me a lot more aware and uh, like I used to overthink a lot. Like when I was in the relationship, I used to overthink everything. And now I'm out of it, I'm not as bad as I was, but obviously it all still stick with me. But the only way I can really describe it is you've got to just try to have the mindset of, it's like whatever happens, happens and it's out of your control. Like stop thinking, oh my God, this is gonna happen because it probably won't. Like the, the amount of times I've overthought things that never happen, but it's just the fear of it happening that kills you like that's genuinely all i can like say i don't really know how to help if anyone knows how to stop overthinking let me know because clearly i need it too someone said advice on sore cramps i don't actually experience as bad cramps anymore considering i'm on um the pill because my cramps were so bad but when my cramps were so bad the only way i could stop it was if i had i think what it's called it's like the mm, i don't even know where it is but it's like the period tablets that you can get but i can't think of the brand but it's the period tablets like the period ta paracetamols they're really really good and i always take them because yeah they work perfectly fine for me and they did help for a certain period of time and then sometimes a hot water bottle but i also found laying on cold floor just laying flat out always used to help too Someone said, have you ever had any anxiety? And if you have, what helped you? So I think I've kind of spoke briefly on this before. I got put on one of these pills, which absolutely ruined my mental health. I was literally so low all the time. I was so like depressed, like, like my anxious. I was so anxious all the time, like something bad was gonna happen. I was like crying myself to sleep most nights. And I definitely say I experienced anxiety at times, but I haven't got like, I think everyone always has some sort of like anxious vibes, but I don't think I have anxiety. I think I might have had it when I had this like pill, but once I came off of it, my mental health went back down to being okay. But this pill was literally detrimental to my mental health. It was so bad. And the only way I kind of overcome it was by coming off the pill. So I don't really know how to help anyone with anxiety due to not having it myself. But I would always say like, if I'm having an anxious day, like when I get nervous or when something's going on, I like to just have a moment to myself, even if that's just sitting in my room, even if that's just doing my skincare or putting lashes on or getting in the bath and shaving my legs, like just a little thing day by day can really help boost your, like your self-esteem, I guess. So yeah, I definitely say that. Someone says single or taken, which one is better? I personally would say I'm much more of a relationship kind of girl. Like I prefer being in relationships and not. I don't really like being single. I don't like entertaining boys. I don't like any of that really. And I just think it's so boring. Like no offense if you're like that because some of my best friends are and I think go you. But I can't stand being single. Like I like having my person and I like when I now don't have my person, it's a bit hard, but obviously gotta learn to be single to be in a relationship. So the game's the game. And not everyone has to be single and be like a little, I don't know, girl running around on the streets, but I don't know, even just being single, like not even entertaining boys, just being single. Like I feel so much more lonely. I like being in a relationship. Someone said, nails or no nails? I'm such a nails girl now. I never used to actually care about having nails on, but now I'm obsessed with them. Someone says silver or gold jewelry. I've changed and I'm now a gold jewelry girl, which I didn't think I would be, but I absolutely love being a gold jewelry girl. I think it's so much better. Someone said, how have you been like honestly? I would say the past week and a bit, I've been very tired and stressed out. Obviously I've got my GCSEs going on. I've got just a lot of things going on. And I think for me, I really distracted myself when I broke up with my ex. And if I'm honest, it's kind of all falling on me now. And now I'm just a bit upset about it all. Um, because it didn't, it doesn't really hit you at first. And it never really hit me at first. But now I'm like, don't know, a bit later on, it just hurts a little bit more. Because now you know, like it's actually done. It just, I don't know, it's a bit of a weird feeling. But I just say like that, 
that's quite upsetting. And then also just GCSEs are so overwhelming. Like they're honestly so light. Ugh. But I wouldn't say they're as bad as I expected them to be, don't get me wrong. And all my friends made out they were so much worse than they are. But they are overwhelming and they do drag a lot of energy out of you. Like after an exam, I'm so tired and I'm never used to be like that. Someone said, how to feel if the boy you like likes another girl? I just think you get the vibe and if you get the vibe and you question them and they deny it, but you've got proof or anything, then you know they do. But I just think boys are weird like that sometimes. Like they could be in the most healthy relationship, but that girl could still not be enough. And as soon as your boyfriend or your talking stage shows you that they're interested in other people, and it's not just like she's fit and she's mentally inclined, leave. Someone said, do you enjoy going to the hairdressers? I actually love going to my hairdresser. Her name's Amy and she's my absolute favorite person. She's so funny. Um, and she just always, in, like, it's such a fun experience going there. I'm going back to her soon, actually, to get my hair done for prom, which is going to be fun. How to get out of a toxic relationship? I would say if you have a clear, uh, like, if you know yourself it's toxic, that's enough for you to be able to leave. And sometimes it doesn't have to be anything that causes you to leave. Sometimes it just happens and you feel like it's right to leave. And no matter what, like, as much as it hurt when me and my ex broke up, like, sometimes it's needed. Sometimes you just need to be by yourself and try focus on yourself for a while. And if you're in a toxic relationship, it's not healthy. And you know full well it's probably never going to be able to change unless he changes or you change and if it is yourself you need to give yourself time by yourself because clearly you can't be in a relationship if you're toxic and if you're making someone else bring like go down with you because I feel like sometimes like in a relationship you can go through phases of being so trusting and then the next minute like you don't trust them with anything and then you can start just getting funny with them for no reason over things and I literally get that 100% but you've got to realize that in the long run you can't just argue over things that don't matter because the more arguments you have the more drained out you get and I feel like that's the main reason why we broke up because we just didn't stop arguing and it wasn't healthy for either of us um so yeah I'd say definitely if you're in a toxic relationship and you're actually considering it as toxic then you need to get out of it and I don't know how you can get out of it because every scenario is different but if you know yourself that it's not right then you need to leave someone said best shop for jewelry i love ll loves she's on instagram i'll leave her name on the screen and you can get yourself some bracelets she does all my bracelets for me and i absolutely love them i think they're so pretty um so yeah i definitely say ll loves is my fave what age is considered to be too late for a period to arrive i think the latest is I think when people say when you get to 16 or 17, I think more 17, if you still haven't got your period, then you should go to the doctors just to check. But people are late bloomers. Don't feel rushed into having it. Trust me, if you don't have your period, you're not missing out on anything. It's not good at all. So if you don't have them, don't feel pressured. Not pressured. Don't feel like you're like, oh my God, something's wrong with me because it will come eventually. And if it doesn't, then that's when you can get help by the doctors and the GP, but you don't have to worry if you're 13 or 14 still without a period or 15 even. Um, but the older you get, obviously, the more raise of concern there is because the average age, I think, is like 11 to 15, 11 to 14. But I'm not GP. I don't know. Someone said your skin is glowing. How did it get clear that fast? Thank you very much. I'd say my skin comes and goes in waves. And I'd definitely say the Epidura cream definitely helped me the most with getting some spots down and just achieving a bit more of clear skin because my skin was absolutely awful and people did not notice it as much because I used to cover it but I went through a phase of genuinely like it was so painful I cannot explain like I'd literally have spots here 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 all up here and they'd be massive spots that you'd pop and they wouldn't even like I don't even know they was just so painful so I I would just say epiduro cream helped me Someone said, how confident are you about your body? I'd say this is a really, like, like a question that I don't think I could answer because as much as obviously you want to feel confident in your body, I feel like every girl, every boy has insecurities and one of mine is probably like my body and like, sometimes I have days where I look at myself and think, oh my God, I haven't eaten too many chicken nuggets. Like, but then I realise like, it's just all part of growing up and I get so insecure over things that don't even matter. So I won't really say I have a scale of one of how confident I am in my body, but I just have to realise I'm a teenage girl. I'm gonna blow, I'm gonna, you know, gonna live all the teenage life. But I would say definitely, like, it's a struggle of mine. Someone said, I'm supposed to be seeing this guy on Saturday, but I feel like I still like my ex. What do I do? I think if deep down you know 
that you're not ready to move on, don't lead someone on because it's the worst thing you can do is trying to distract yourself with other people and then you'll end up just hurting yourself more. Um, but I definitely say like call it off with a boy and just say look for now I just don't think I'm ready because if you're still in love with your ex no matter if it's been a week if it's been two months if it's been a year if you're still hung up on your ex you can't be in a relationship it doesn't work like that in my opinion and don't say it distracts you because you'll end up missing them in the relationship and then you'll hurt the person you're with if you if you still miss your ex you need to stay single or go back to your ex you can't do that I, I don't believe in that Someone said, what would you do if your friend got with your ex? I'd be fuming, they're not your friend if they're getting with your exes, trust me now. That is not a friend. Never let that settle. Confront them, get like that, because that's disgusting. But this video is about to run out and I feel like this is enough questions I've answered. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I need to get on. I need to do some revision, but thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I've got a great video that's gonna be coming out this week that you guys are gonna love. So see you guys then. Love you.